When do we consider a cardioversion versus a natural fibrillation ablation? Cardioversion is a procedure where we briefly put patients to sleep, and while they're asleep, we deliver a shock that will resynchronize the electrical activity in the top chamber, reestablishing the normal rhythm. Cardioversion does not act on the source of atrial fibrillation, however, which for most patients is the pulmonary veins, and therefore, we typically will add medications to try to prevent further spells of atrial fibrillation. For an ablation, our goal is to try to eliminate the triggers of atrial fibrillation. So when we do catheter ablation, we typically will target the pulmonary veins where atrial fibrillation comes from for the majority of individuals. When do we recommend cardioversion versus catheter ablation? For some patients, the initial approach could be a cardioversion if we are unclear about how symptomatic they are. A cardioversion for a patient who is in persistent atrial fibrillation, so the patient is in AFib all the time, as we reestablish normal rhythm, will give us a chance to understand if a patient feels better while in normal rhythm. And if so, we have now established that the symptoms were caused by the atrial fibrillation and further treatment with medications or ablation will be indicated. A cardioversion, again, will not prevent future spells, however, and a cardioversion is only used for patients with persistent or long-standing persistent atrial fibrillation. If a patient has paroxysmal atrial fibrillation and is in and out of AFib, a cardioversion is never indicated. However, for patients that have atrial fibrillation that we have already established that the atrial fibrillation is symptomatic or that it's affecting the patient's heart, either decreasing the cardiac function, the left ventricular ejection fraction, or making the heart become larger. For those patients, treatment with an ablation is indicated and particularly as the technology has become better, as physicians have become better at performing these procedures, what our guide guidelines have reflected is this trend towards earlier intervention with an ablation because that will increase your overall chances of success, which is maintaining sinus rhythm long term.